Yeah, look, DC, I've, I've said this before, DC, one of their main goals uh, is to make the game ugly and to make it hard on the opposing team. And that's no disrespect to them. That's just how they play. That's how they're effective. That's how they win games. And we knew that that, that was what the series was going to be. That's just, you know, we, uh, we took it to them a little bit at home last time we played them. I believe it was 3-0, and they weren't going to let that happen again. We knew that we weren't going to be scoring four or five goals on them because defensively, they're solid. You know, if they had three center backs playing in the back tonight, and they had two defensive midfielders. I mean, those guys put in a lot of work on the defensive side of the ball, and it makes it tough for us to break them down. So we weren't good enough, uh, in my point of view. We were certainly very sloppy and, and not good enough with the ball. But I want to give them credit because they played a lot better than they did in the first leg. Thanks. I mean, obviously, every playoff game is huge, especially elimination games. But is there an added significance given that it's D.C. knocking them out two years in a row now? It's huge for us, massive significance. And I think it just gives us more confidence to know that even when the game isn't pretty, and even when we can't do the things that make us a good team, we can still win games in different ways, and win games ugly, and stay in the moment, and, and you know, not break down. I thought defensively, I thought we were really solid all series. I mean, even when we were losing some bad balls in the midfield, we still recovered really well. Our center backs put out a lot of fires. I don't remember Luis having to make too many saves, which is a testament to our whole team defending. So, yeah, uh, we just have to improve. We have to get better. But I'd say winning, you know, knocking D.C. out of the playoffs two years in a row, it's a great feeling, uh, but that's not our, our ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is in a few weeks' time, MLS Cup. Doug, so, um, two years ago we were in this same locker room after the Houston, the Houston game. Yeah, before the game started, I said, look, guys, I'm not ready for my season to end. Everyone agreed. We're not ready for the season to be done yet. We don't want to be on vacation. We want to be continue to play, and you know, we want to stick this out till the very end. So I've been through some really tough moments with this club, being knocked out of the playoffs. I mean, we've had some really good seasons that end in disappointment because we have a bad performance one game. Uh, so we just want to make sure we learn from those moments in the past. That Houston series, like you talked about, was a uh, gut punch. It was an awful feeling in the locker room after. We don't want to have those feelings. We want to make sure that we continue to, to keep going and to play well. And we want to give ourselves a chance to be uh, you know, the first team to win something here at Red Bull Arena, not just a supporter shoot. We want to win the big one, MLS Cup. That's the thing that's, that's uh, it's eating at us. And I dream about winning that thing all the time. So. You know, for us, we just have to make sure that each game we take it one game at a time, and, and we have to do the things that made us successful all year. Are those moments like the moments where you remember, I don't want to be here again? I don't want that to feel like that. Of course, is that, is that what drives you most? Of course, you use, you use you use those bad moments as motivation. You use those failures as motivation because, at the end of the day, no player is going to be remembered for their failures. They're going to be remembered for the things that they win and you know the accomplishments that they have. And every time that another season goes by when you don't have an MLS Cup, it just gets more and more frustrating. So we talked about it. We have the opportunity right in front of us, and we don't want to let that slip because that would be, uh, you know, that would be very frustrating.